What's up guys, welcome back again to your Heroclix headquarters. Today we're going to be counting down the top five Electras in Heroclix. So without further ado, let's get to the list. Alright, so starting us off at number five, we have this uh, shifting focus set of Electras from the uh, Avengers Defenders War set. So pretty cool, same sculpt and everything, just one's painted red, one's painted black. Uh, pretty neat though. So the common one in black has uh, improved movement for elevated, which is nice. Of course, the shifting focus trait to switch between them. And uh, the Marvel Knights trait that a bunch of Marvel Knights in this set had, which was at the beginning of the game for all characters with this trait, choose one. Characters using this trait have a minimum attack value of 10, or characters using this trait are wild cards. So not bad, you could give them all wild card to copy a team ability, or make it so their minimum attack is a 10, which was kind of nice because some of them do drop to 9s at some points. Um, but this black one here had uh, sidestep and stealth which was pretty neat. I guess she had stealth just because she's the one wearing black. Uh, but she had combat reflexes and exploit. Combat reflexes is always nice for uh, the stealth, you know. Um, and they were both, of course, 50 points. So not too crazy point values. And uh, then the red one, same traits and everything. But this one had a special move power that you could give her a close combat action to make any number of close attacks each targeting an adjacent opposing character that wasn't already targeted during this action. So if she was in a group of enemies, she could make an attack against each one of them, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it was nice to start out with the black one, you know, go run up, hide in stealth, and then maybe sidestep next to a couple people, swap to this one, and then do that dance of death to uh, attack all of them. And she just had some blades claws and some super senses. So, you know, nothing too crazy between the two of them, but uh, only 50 points. They're pretty fun. And for all those reasons, they're coming in at number five. All right, coming in at number four, we have the Fast Forces Electra from the Deadpool set. So uh, pretty awesome, you know, sculpt and pose on that one again. Um, I'll be honest, this one probably could have come in at number three, but uh, I just personally like my number three better. So this one's really actually still pretty decent though. 75 points, Hydra team ability, um, some pretty good stats and powers. And she has this really awesome special damage power that she starts with, which is uh, she can use close combat expert and stealth. And when she uses close combat expert, she may instead modify her attack or damage value by plus two and modify the other combat value by plus one. Now, when she was made, uh, Close Combat Expert was actually a choice. You know, you could take up, you had to take a power action to use it, and you could either choose to give either attack or damage plus two, or give them both plus one. So she was really cool that you got to choose one of them to get the plus two and still get a plus one to the other one. Uh, really awesome there. And especially even better now that it's no longer a power action to use, it's just always on. So every time she makes a close attack, that's gonna activate. And she actually has charge and precision strike. So just by herself, she can charge in there and have like a 13 attack, four damage precision or 12 attack, five damage precision strike, which is pretty freaking nuts. Um, not too bad even today uh, for 75, I'd say. So yeah, she's pretty cool for all those reasons. She's coming in at number four. But coming in at number three for me is the Uncommon Electra from the Deadpool set. Same sculpt and everything as the last one, so nothing too crazy there. But, um, you know, like I said, the other one probably could have been number three. But I just have a lot of great memories using this one. This one was a ton of fun uh, to play back in the day. 115 points is a lot by today's standards. So I don't really think she holds up as well anymore. But she just has so much that she can do. Uh, she has a trait that once per game, when she would be KO'd, you may give any number of other friendly characters with the hand keyword an action token. And if you do, place her in her starting area on click number eight, and then heal her of damage equal to the number of action tokens given. So if you have enough like little hand ninja dudes running around, you can give them all an action token and she can come in full health again. Um, even if you just have a couple of them, you know, she gets uh, teleported back to the starting area with a couple clicks of health. Maybe you have somebody with support on standby. You know, there's a lot of cool things you could do there. But she has a lot of crazy special powers here. So her first one on movement is uh, Charge, Flurry, and Stealth. And then on attack, she has Blades, Claws, Fangs, Incapacitate, and Precision Strike. 
you know, in caps, not great, but the other two are certainly nice to have. And then finally on her damage power, she has a uh, close combat expert, exploit weakness and range combat expert. So yeah, having an opening 12 attack, three damage, charge flurry stealth, some combat reflexes, not too bad. And then throughout her dial, she overlaps some of those powers. So it just feels like she has a ton of powers sometimes. And uh, she was just really, really deadly up close. And like I said, once per game, she could potentially come back like full health. So pretty fun. Um, maybe not as great by today's standards. Like I said, she's a lot of points, but really awesome still. And for all those reasons, she's coming in at number three. Coming in at number two for Electra, we have not one, not two, but three shifting focus Electras this time. Again, we have a red suit Electra and we have a black suit Electra with the um, bullseye on her forehead, which is pretty awesome. And then we have a white suit Electra on top of it. And then taking a look at what they can all do here, of course, they have the shifting focus trait to swap between them. And I mean, honestly, who would have guessed we'd have two different sets of shifting focus Electras? Pretty crazy. I never would have guessed that, uh, you know, there's a lot of other characters that maybe are more suited to that mechanic, but regardless, it's still a great mechanic. Um, and anyway, she has a trait on the red version that gives her stealth. And when Electra KOs an opposing character after resolutions, you may roll a D6 and heal her equal to half the result. So she can be healing a lot every time she's KOing. It's kind of like a super uh, steel energy, but she has to actually KO something. Pretty decent stats and powers. Um, and these ones are all coming in at 75 points, though. Uh, but yeah, this one is pretty much the close combat attacker, whereas the black suit is more ranged based. She can make ranged attacks while adjacent. Uh, she has a trait that once per turn, when she KOs an opposing character, you may roll a d6. If you do, after resolutions, she makes a number of attacks equal to half the result. And those can be close or ranged attacks in any combination. So that's really awesome. Um, whenever, you know, you really want to KO something with her to get a few extra attacks in. Potentially three extra attacks is pretty nuts. Um, of course, they had to make that effect once per turn or else she would just start chaining all those KOs and getting more and more attacks. Uh, but yeah, running shot, penetrating blast, um, not too bad, some super senses. Um, not the greatest stats for 75 points, but they were not too bad back then. Uh, this was the uh, Avengers Black Panther and the Illuminati set, which... Uh, feels like it was just yesterday, but it's been a minute, I suppose. Last but not least, though, the one that really makes them all worthwhile playing, the rare version in the white suit, uh, she has a sideline active effect that if this character is on your sideline for her shifting focus trait, when a friendly number three or number 20 Electra, which is the other two we just looked at, would be KO'd by an opposing character's attack, you may remove that character from the map instead. She isn't scored. And if you do, after resolutions, you may place Electra from your sideline in that square on click number five, and Electra can't use her shifting focus trait this game. So you really just want to swap between the red and the black one until one of them would be KO'd, and then you swap into this one on click number five with some flurry, steel energy, and regen, so she kind of heal herself back up. Um, but you can, you know, swap into her maybe if you just want the stealth and leadership or whatever. Uh, but mainly, you really want to keep her on the side. But yeah, she can just heal her back up, you know, kind of give her some more life. Again, uh, just extending the life of uh, your Electra, your team, you know. Uh, so again, I think this is a really, really cool set. Uh, these actually have better stats and powers than the other ones we've taken a look at, and uh, they have a really, really strong, you know, synergy there with the shifting focus. You got one good one for close attacks. If she KOs something, she heals herself. One that's good for range attacks, and if she KOs something, she gets to make more attacks. And then if either of them are KO'd, you can bring in the other one. Uh, and then she can heal herself up some. So a really awesome shifting focus set of Electras. And for all those reasons, that's why they're coming in at number two. All right, as always, before we get to my number one pick, we have a few honorable mentions to take a quick look at. We have this one from the Fast Forces from uh, Avengers Defenders War. Same sculpt as the first shifting focus ones we took a look at. This one just has... Uh, a trait where she can use stealth, and when an opposing character is KO'd after resolutions, you can heal her, click, 
And that's when anybody KOs an opposing character. So every time an opposing character is KO'd, she gets to heal one. And she's got traded stealth otherwise. Just some charge exploit. 75 points. You know, it's, she's fine, honestly. I mean, she could have even been number five on the list. She's not like that much worse than the old Shifting Focus set. Uh, I actually do like her. She's actually pretty decent. Um, I'd probably, you know, put her at number six. Because after that, there's not a lot more Electras, honestly. It's kind of just like a, a couple rev sets or something. But we do have this one. Um, this Electra here is actually called Daredevil. And that is the only reason she is not on my list. She would have easily been on the list otherwise, but I chose to exclude her for being Daredevil. If she was named Electra, I would have put her on the list. But she is Electra, so if you guys think that she should be on the list, I'd probably just put her at number two and then just scoot everybody else back a space. So in case you were hoping to see her on the list, if you really think she deserves to be there, that is kind of my opinion on her. But anyway, she has this cool trait where all friendly characters with the hand keyword can use exploit weakness, which, you know, technically she's a friendly character with the hand keyword, so she also gives herself exploit weakness. Pretty cool. Uh, she's got Spider-Man team ability and Masters of Evil, which is really good because she does have super senses, so that gives her that on a four through six to start with. And, you know, the Masters of Evil gives you that, uh, it gives your opponents minus one defense when your other friendlies that are adjacent are attacking them. Uh, it's kind of like the police team ability, but for close attacks. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, then she has charge, leap, climb, and stealth on her special movement power. And when Daredevil hits with a close attack, modify a hit character's defense minus one for the turn. So if she runs in there first, hits them, they get an instant minus one for the rest of the turn for the rest of your team to kind of follow up with that. Uh, like I said, I think she'd probably be worthy of number two. She's only 60 points. But anyway, that is all of the honorable mentions I have. So without further ado, let's get to the number one pick. All right, but coming in at number one, if you haven't guessed it already, it is the Motorcycle Electra from the Wheels of Vengeance set. Uh, she is just super duper good. She's got the pilot trait, which in case you don't know, whenever you're revealing your force, you may choose a single base character on your sideline that is either named Electra or Daredevil or has the martial artist keyword. Turn it to any click and she can use the standard attack and damage powers displayed on that character's dial. And then when she's KO'd, but before removing her from the map, you can generate the chosen character from your sideline on their last non-KO click. Uh, and then that character can't be healed or replaced this game and isn't scored when KO'd, protected pulse wave. So yeah, there's a lot of great martial artists. Unfortunately, there's really not any good Electras or Daredevils for her. Uh, most of them already have like Blades and you know, Close Combat Expert and stuff like that that she already has on her dial. Uh, so you really want to focus on some martial artists. There's a lot of good choices there. You know, you can get some leadership, some outwit, precision strike, poison, exploit, like a lot of really good stuff. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, taking a look at what she can actually do here, uh, she has a trait where you can free turn the character chosen for her pilot trait to a different click. Uh, that's really awesome because there's actually no other pilots that have an ability like that right now. So that actually gives her a ton more versatility. You really wanna pick a good pilot that has a lot of different powers throughout their dial that she can kind of pick and choose. You know, it's like a pick a power every turn. If you have enough options available, depending on who your pilot is, she can pick some, a lot of different stuff every game, which is really great. And then she has hypersonic speed and stealth on her special movement power. And uh, she's also a team player, so she can copy team abilities. One of my favorite pilots for her is the Hawkeye and Hawkeye duo because if you look at their dial they have a ton of different powers spread out throughout it um, there's also some good batmans um, i think one of the like league assassin or ninja or something from the notorious set is like a really good martial artist because it has a couple good different power sets to swap between there's a lot of good pilots for her like i said she's a really fun versatile figure being able to choose the different click for her pilot all the time uh, having a, actually good stats and powers on her own, and then even if she's KO'd, she pops out that pilot. So for all those reasons, she's coming in at number one. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about this list in the comments below. What are your favorite Electras? Who is another character you'd like to see on a future top five list? Let me know. But that's about it for this one, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more, check the links in the description for the Patreon so uh, you can see your name here in the credits with all these other awesome people or hit that join button as well. Either way, for as little as $1 a month, you get entered into my monthly giveaways. So if that interests you, make sure to check that out. But that is going to do it for this one, you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Till next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.